Hey swimmers, I'm Coach Manny. I'm gonna show you a useful sculling drill that you can apply to your butterfly technique. Okay, swimmers, so this video is on how to improve your fly using a useful sculling drill that will not only help you rehearse the arm movement of the stroke cycle, but also will help warm up your shoulders. How this sculling drill is useful is it helps isolate the arm movement. So three points to make within this sculling drill is to use a light flutter kick, as well as keeping your shoulders very mobile and relaxed so that way you have more fluidity within this movement. And lastly, you wanna take your time feeling a good hold of the water because this is ultimately where you're going to get the most traction as you move forward. So I'm gonna go through three video demonstrations of a progression of this sculling drill and how you can apply it to your practice. So first you want to find a shallow area to rehearse the arm movement, which is bringing both arms shoulder width apart, bending at the elbows to feel a good hold of the water from your palms to the bottoms of your forearms. Lastly, you want to feel a good stretch from your back where you're getting the most out of that hold. Next is you're going to apply that same sculling motion, but with a light flutter kick. And the flutter kick is used so that you can stay in this position for a longer period of time. Take a breath when you need to, just make it quick and easy as you bring your head back down to work on the sculling part of this drill, which is feeling a good hold of the water, mainly stretched from your back. What is also helpful is to use fins for this drill as well. And I have some useful tips on fins linked at the top right hand corner. Okay, so, so now I'm going through a few strokes and then landing in that same sculling drill, reinforcing the arm movement, feeling the stretch from my back and applying that hold to finish off the length. This is a combination of putting it into practice as well as reinforcing that movement at the end with the sculling drill. All right, swimmers, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a link at the top right hand corner for some additional videos to help with your swim practice. And of course, if you have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. And be sure to subscribe to the channel as you'll be up to date with new videos to help with your swim practice.